ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. and a few other places in the world seem to be under attack. These red lines you see don't only show up on GOES, they show up on several other satellites, and what they are are heat signatures. It looks like some sort of laser that was orbiting actually shot at some of the areas here in the U.S. and elsewhere, as I will show you. Very strange. Definitely heat signatures here. Some of them start over here in the Cascadia Subduction Zone and go all the way through Wawa Springs and stop right here where we see all these fires, which is the, that's right, the New Madrid is right here. We have these heat signatures. We can see we have fires all around Wawa Springs, just like I promised you we would. And I was hoping the rain that came through would put some of the fires in Washington, Oregon out. That does not seem to be the case. But it looks like someone is intentionally either trying to mess with, this ends right at Yellowstone, mess with all, all of the volcanoes and or create an uptick for earthquake activity and fire activity or something nefarious is going on. Again, this is not the only map where I see this. I want y'all to take a close look at this before we go. But obviously, these are what looks like heat signatures from perhaps a laser being shot at the United States continent itself in certain areas that may cause upticks for things like fires, earthquakes, and volcanic activity. This could be being done by our own government or could be being done by just about anybody. So many countries have satellite capability and also the ability to rain down microwaves, radiation, and lasers from space currently. These are very wild signatures. They have been on the map for 24 hours plus. Let's take a look at some more maps and blow your mind. This is the U.S. Wildfire Activity web map here. It's their ARC viewer. You can see that their lines are almost perfectly spaced, but every time that orbit or that satellite that has this laser capability, see the heat signatures up here trying to start fires, exactly what it looks like to me. You can also see them covering all of the U.S. down here. And please note, all the fires right there in the New Madrid, that's the main part of the New Madrid, are just going off here, completely going off. I don't know what this pink box is here. All these pink boxes are fire warnings. Fire warnings. This is an area I was very, very worried about that could catch the whole eastern part of the U.S. on fire. Uh, these are fire warnings around Wawa Springs. We know there's plenty of fires there and in Washington, Oregon, and Northern California. But someone is coming through here, which looks like an orbiting satellite. Looks like it's come around more than once. And the laser or the heat signature is so strong that it can still be seen hours, days after they lay it down. No other, nothing else could account for this except for an orbiting satellite causing these heat signatures. That means they're pushing a lot of heat at these areas in the U.S. Trying to set the whole U.S. on fire. There's even three or four lines down here in Florida. Uh, and we see lines as far south as Mexico here, as you can see. They want it all on fire. We don't see any lines here, but we will soon jump over to another map. This is our GOES satellite map. Uh, pictures being taken from GOES. You can see how this starts around the New Madrid, goes into Yellowstone, exactly. And then this crisscrosses Wawa Springs here. Another heat signature here. All the fires running up and down the New Madrid here. A lot of fires uh, up and down the East Coast, more than usual. But what is causing this looks like several passes to heat this area through here up and that goes right from the Cascadias right over to Yellowstone what are causing these heat signatures what are they hitting us with is this an airplane that is shooting a laser at the ground or is this a satellite shooting a laser at the ground 
More interestingly, there's only one or two other places on the globe showing the same, well, the same strange phenomena. This one starts over here in the Middle East and goes right to the biggest caldera on Earth. How convenient, right? Almost like someone's trying to have these volcanoes erupt. That's a heat signature. That's all we're getting here. What's even stranger is they're doing it down there in Antarctica. Look at all the passes being made down in Antarctica uh, that looks like orbital passes. Exactly like orbital passes. Are they trying to also melt the ice sheet over Antarctica? This has all happened within the last 24 hours. This goes right into the biggest caldera in the world, the most dangerous caldera in the world. And then the U.S. shows these, but when you get into a, a better map, even going to GOES USA, we can see how significant and how many times they actually flew over this area to continue to hit it with what looks like a laser or a, a source of heat. And if we keep going, we can see the same thing happening up in Canada, the same thing happening in New Mexico, all the way down here in Cuba. These same lines, I'm sure that they're going to say that, again, it was some sort of data error, but on three or four different modeling deals, look at all the fires in the New Madrid here. Very strange. Red flag warning, red flag warning all around Wawa Springs here. And then look at these long lines. Looks like they're trying to heat something up. This one ends right at, like I said, Yellowstone here. And we have others that go right into and right across the northern part of Wawa Springs, the most dangerous part. Looks like we have th at least three lines right here, probably more than that, making several passes from what appears to be starting at around the Cascadia subduction zone and going right there and stopping right there at Yellowstone. What could possibly be doing this? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. We do see this happening down all the way far as, well, as Panama. We see a line in Panama there, but nothing south of that. Uh, we do see that one over in the Middle East going into the biggest caldera in China. And we also see all of the heat signatures on the Antarctic shelf. Very strange indeed. If anyone has any answers, love to hear about it. Let me know. We're using two different models here. There'd be zero reason that two different models would have a problem uh, unless they're actual heat signatures. What is exactly the best guess scenario here is. Looks like they're trying to light some fires up in New York as well, folks. One after another as the as the actual satellite orbits they continually turn on the laser when over the u.s and other parts that they're interested in shaking up i mean these are speculative guesses at this part uh, part scary stuff 